Chat family. We hope that the month of July has treated you well and that what you've been spending time with your family. Also, we hope you've been keeping up with us as we featured more and more authors with you. And we hope you're enjoying the summer reading list. And listen, today is no exception. We have with us Dr. Timothy Williams, who also is an author, and he's going to share insight with you about his book and help us also just get a few words of inspiration. Keep your eyes on the screen. I've read hundreds of articles on leadership, right? Hundreds during that period of time. Um, I, I do a series now that's uh, on Facebook called Thinking, of, Thinking About Leadership with Dr. Tim because I spent eight or nine years where all I thought about was leadership because I was getting my, my doctorate, right? So all the articles you read, man, where would I be? Right, if I didn't know, know how to read, if I didn't know how to process uh, text, uh, go out and pursue how to how to kind of like get it. You know, God God did this. He decided that He would interact with us through the written word. Okay, that should tell you how important literacy is. Right, that should tell you how important it is to learn to read and to write, because you can continue to hear what man is speaking to you. That's fine. I'm not saying that that's not God, but when you pick up that book, you're right there looking at what God is saying to you. It ain't no one, two, three. It is one, two, three. That's huge. You can have a whole lot of stuff to put on paper, but if your motive is you know, because you want to be somebody or you want to be um, get money or you want to uh, get your own self-recognition or if you want to get out before God, you know, and you want to control things yourself when you're, yeah, you're not going to get a whole lot going, going on with that. But I think I think what the inspiration piece is just, OK, God, why am I doing this? It's about motive, right? It's about what is moving you on the inside. And that move has got to be God. You know, I, I wrote this book because I just knew that there's just a, a level of um, insight that we don't have about Satan that has hindered us. And I knew God wanted to get at that. And he starts with the seed. You know, it's, it's, you know, this is not big. He starts with the seed. And there are other people who probably have taught many things in this, right? But he starts with the seed. But the huge motive for me is, is just that. It's a message that God wants to get out. He's got some intent for it. I can feel it. You can feel it. He's got some intent for it. And, um, you know, he decided he'd ask me to do it. Romans 8. 29, it talks about uh, us being predestined to be conformed to the image of Christ, right? Which means that uh, it's our destiny to look like him, right? And that, what it implies is that we're on a journey, right? We're not there. We're predestined. There's a destination that we're supposed to reach where we will look like Christ. All right, listen, here is a copy of Dr. Williams' book, which I think is absolutely amazing. And this is my copy, so you're gonna have to get a copy for yourself. But as you can see, it's called Doubt the Devil, Put Your Faith in God. I don't know about you, but that sounds like a good read. We'll have to make sure to add this to our summer reading list. Listen, keep rolling with us. We've got yet one more Sunday and yet another author to share with you as well. So please, as always, continue to keep up with everything we've got going on here at Tabernacle Baptist Church. As always, thank you so much for worshiping with us here at Tabernacle Baptist Church, a local church making a global impact.